Hi, Brother Teacher here. I have sort of an interesting question. Now, I'm not being, uh, how should I say, uh, obscene when I say this, but I'm just shooting right from the hips. Hey, why do my balls itch? That's the question. Now, most of us will jump right on the uh, bandwagon, uh, probably in the back of our mind, and pull it right to the forefront of our mind and say that we're talking about a man's jewels, family jewels or testicles. Exactly correct. You are. Why do my balls itch? And why do your balls itch, men? Starting with us. Could it possibly be that the underwear that you're wearing is washed in a detergent that has chemicals that we are allergic to? And it causes us to scratch more in that place. Not just us women as well. But since those are hanging a little further from our bodies, we probably are more susceptible to the itching and then, of course, to scratching as a result. Did you not know that the dyes that they use to color your underwear and your undergarments are irritable to many people? Some people are, are allergic to those dyes because they contain chemicals and they are chemicals. Don't forget, we are biological. Those chemicals are made in a laboratory. Those two don't really go together. So I would advise most of us those who have a willing mind to try to make a point of purchasing, even though it may not be as aesthetic and as cute and as uh, appealing as you would like, but try to avoid too many colored underwear and try to stick to plain white cotton as much as possible. That's where we can start at first, men and women. Secondly, Avoid detergents that contain chlorine, bleach, and other chemicals because these are not biologically friendly to human beings. So much so, oftentimes we find ourselves with allergies, sometimes instantaneously, sometimes over a period of time, and it's because of the fact that we wash our clothing in chemicals and then we put them on. And we not only put clothing on, but we lay on our bed linen, which has been washed in the same detergents with the chemicals. And it affects us in a negative way. So one remedy, while I'm talking to you, that we can use to avoid this is to get away from the chemical compounds and use more subtle and more natural biologically friendly compounds such as baking soda. Yes, you can wash your clothing in baking soda. Bicarbonate of soda is the other name for it. It is a natural ingredient. You can also use uh, biodegradable detergents. You can look it up on your own. You can go into some hardware stores and they may have that. Or you can go to a place like Walmart. You just have to do a little due diligence on your own. I'm not going to give you everything. And the other thing that you can use is borax. But one thing to note on the borax. Borax, even though it is natural, it is good for removing stains and keeping your clothing, especially your color clothes, color fast or making them look brighter by removing a lot of the residue and a lot of the things that's already in your clothing, uh, borax can be toxic to the human body. You don't want to get it into your eyes. So this is my disclaimer right here. I want you to use your own logic, your own common sense. I'm not advising you to use borax. I'm letting you know that it is indeed another alternative Howbeit, it must be in the hands of a very responsible individual. It will do its job, 
but you must be very diligent in how you use it. You must read all of the particulars, all of the instructions and directions as to how to use borax, but it does do the job. If you have any further questions concerning this, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back with you. And I thank you. This is Brother Teacher again and good washing. So long.